Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I'm here still in D.C. in Arlington, uh, Arlington, Virginia, and I just uh, thought I'd do a second video here. I just did one video, but I'm doing doing two a day. I've got that sort of on my Kanban board. If you haven't seen my video on my process that I follow for my productivity, uh, you know, how I plan my week, check that out, because I'm going to be talking about that subject. Actually, today, uh, I, I'm going to try to make this a little quick. I've been getting a little long-winded, but and I got to run here, but literally. So here's the thing. So I want to talk about today about the idea of having a process and how process frees you up uh, in your life, in business, and everything. Uh, it, I think it's a really important concept to uh, to create a process. Uh, and what I mean by this is like the first time you try to do something, it's difficult. But the second time you try to do something, it still might be a little bit difficult, but you sort of know what you're doing. and. If you can now create a process after doing something once or twice, now it becomes easy to do that thing and you can do it over and over again. And now it doesn't require all the mental hurdles and uh, it, it, all of the effort that, that it required before. So let's take an example here. Let's, let's take an example uh, for, for blogging. By the way, if you haven't signed up for my free blogging course, do so and then make a process, right? Uh, so anyway, let's say that you don't know how to create a blog and how to, how to write a blog post. The first time you write a blog post, it's going to be difficult, right? Because you're going to be like, well, okay, do I just write this thing and then, oh, how, how do I publish it? And oh, do I need images? Oh, yeah, I need images. Oh, I got to make links, right? And, and link to content and stuff. And, you know, and how do I promote this? Should I put it on Twitter and Facebook and, and all this stuff, right? So there's a lot more than, than you might think. Oh, I got to, oh, what about editing? Maybe I should spell check this thing. Maybe I should have my, my, uh, my spouse look at it and, 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 <laughs> and re read it and, and fix my grammar and stuff like that. Or maybe I should do multiple drafts, right? You've got all these questions. You don't know what to do. You go through the process once, and then if you create a process out of that, right? I mean, you, what you could do is you could go through and you could flub through it every single time and start over from scratch and be like, oh yeah, I forgot to do this, I forgot to do that, and, and that would be okay, but it's gonna take you a long time. It, you're gonna just get a mild increase in speed because you've done this before, so you kind of know what you're doing. But if instead of doing that, you create a process, right? You create like maybe a checklist, right? And you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this and this and this and this. And you create an order for it and a flow. Now you're gonna be able to do that much quicker and you're gonna be able to pump out more blog posts and it's gonna be much simpler. Uh, so one strategy I use in life a lot is creating process. I create processes for all kinds of different things, right? So, and once there's this big burden on my head a uh, big mental burden, wait until I get a process created for a thing. So, but once I do, then I know that I can repeat that process and it becomes freeing. So let, let's take, you know, like moving to San Diego here, or <laughs> not here now, but uh, moving to San Diego was a big deal for me because it screwed up all my processes that I had around, and like routines and processes. I, I kind of been using this a bit interchangeably, but essentially I didn't know what my running routine is and where I was gonna run. I had to figure that out. But once I figured that out, I got a process in place. I know at this time I'm gonna do this, right? I've got a system that's working for me. I had to figure out, you know, what am I gonna do as far as like going to the gym and working out and eating and cooking and meals and going places, right? All of those things uh, in my working environment. How am I gonna work? What, what kind of process am I gonna follow? Um, I'm trying to think of a couple more that I'm, that I'm working on now. So uh, my writing, right? So I started up again, writing a thousand words a day, writing, uh, basically doing two Pomodoros worth of writing a day. So I needed a process for doing that. And so at, at first it was very clunky because I was trying to get this done and I wasn't, I didn't have a process. But then I put together a process and in the morning when I wake up, I'll create, do two Pomodoros, I'll do my writing. I have a list of topics that I'm gonna write about and so I can just go with that, right? I've got a process for that. Uh, the, the videos, actually, this is probably the best process, right? So I'm shooting all these videos, right? You, got, you guys are seeing like two or three videos coming out a day now. How am I doing that? <laughs> well, I've got, a, I've got a serious process going on. In fact, not only do I have a process going on, but now I've got someone that's implementing that process for me. So my process now is, well, I've got a schedule, right? I, I'm gonna shoot two videos a day on my, my iPhone, right? Then I drop them in Dropbox, and then there's this whole process. Uh, my editor, Rodrigo, uh, awesome dude, he following that process, right? He's got a process, he picks up the videos, he edits the videos, he adds 
the links when I do you know these numbers and he he there's a there's a whole system right he adds the the end caption you know the front caption the description schedules them we've got a process for scheduling them in YouTube and promote I've got it promoted through social media we've got high quality videos that we drop in a different Dropbox and that's got a different process that that goes through but that process freed me to the point where I can shoot like I mean what am I doing I'm doing like 15 videos a week that's kind of crazy before I was doing one video a week and it was taking me forever and it was hard right but once you get a process in place you can be really prolific and uh, you know I did a video on the value of being prolific I believe I think I've talked about this topic at least twice, but um, but anyway, I said this was going to be short. Man, I'm not I'm not good at keeping things short. Anyway, the whole point is this: like when you're struggling with something, when you're you know, whenever you have the opportunity, think of a process as like chunking, right? You can take something. If you can make a process out of it, what you'll end up doing is you'll make it easier for yourself, and you'll make it. You can then automate that process. You can't automate something that you don't have a process for. You can hire people. That's one way of automation. You can write code and whatnot. But once you get a process into place, then all of a sudden you can be way more productive. You can be way more prolific. You can produce a lot more stuff and you have a lot less mental strain when you know what you're supposed to do. What is the process, right? Don't go to the gym and be like, oh, I'm going to lift today. Have a process for that. Know what you're going to start, what you're going to do, what days you're going to do what, right? Again, we're kind of blurring the lines between routine and process, but I think this is really important. Everything in Simple Programmer has processes in place. That's how we get things done. That's how I'm able to get a lot of content produced and to grow the business. Uh, if you are a business person and an entrepreneur and you want to learn about processes, uh, get, check out uh, The E-Myth Revisited by uh, Michael Gerber, I believe. A really good book. It, it, it was one of the books that saved Simple Programmer from me saying, screw this, I'm tired of, <laughs> of doing this all by myself and, uh, and made this fun for me again. Uh, so, so yeah, check that out. I'm trying to think if there's something else. I thought there was one more thing I want to talk about as far as process goes. But that's it for now. Maybe I'll revisit. If you have any questions about processes and how to implement them and stuff, uh, let me know. But I, I'm in this process right now of, of, of implementing and creating a lot of processes in, in my life because, you know, when you uproot and move, you, you've got to get those things reestablished. So, it's, like I said, it's kind of blurring the line being between routine and whatnot. But there's, there's a lot of things. Like, I have a hiring process now, right? That Hiring was really difficult, but I have a process that I follow and that made things really simple for me and less stressful. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyway, that's it. Uh, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.